Hello, I'm Ugar Nabiev. Today I'm going to talk to you about the best ways to improve your English language skills. The most important thing to do is to create a plan to develop the language skills and follow that plan. Clarify your goals in learning English and then make a specific plan to succeed. It's absolutely necessary that learning English becomes a habit. In other words, you should work on your English every day. You should listen to, watch, read English materials or speak English every day, even if it's for a short period of time. Choose listening and reading materials that relate to what you are interested in. Being interested in the subject will make learning more enjoyable, thus more effective. The internet is the most exciting unlimited English resource that anyone could imagine and you can benefit from it very effectively. Listening, speaking, reading and writing are the four language skills we need to develop for complete communication in a foreign language. To achieve these four basic language skills, you need to surround yourself with English. Make English part of your life at home, at work, during your free time. The ability to listen is mainly developed through practice. That's through repeated listening. So, listen to music, the radio, watch movies, different videos, TV shows, news, entertainment programs. If you can watch DVDs, you can watch the movie several times. Watch with subtitles and then when you feel more comfortable without them. In this way, you'll better understand those materials. You'll also learn to pronounce them correctly as you listen to them. If you can, repeat what you hear. Choose listening materials that relate to what you are interested in. Being interested in the subject will make learning more enjoyable, thus more effective. Watch different videos. Follow the speeches of politicians as much as possible. As you know, they speak very fluently, but slowly in order to be understood by the audience. That's why you can learn so much from their speech. A variety of documentaries can also be added to the list of these videos. First, you need to download a lot of English listening materials to your phone. This way you can listen to English no matter where you are. Why do most people fail to improve their English listening comprehension skills? There is only one reason. They don't listen to enough English. That makes sense, right? If you spend 1000 hours listening to English, your English listening comprehension skills will definitely improve. But how can you do that if you don't have time? Let me share a few tips to overcome this problem. Turn boring time into listening time. Now I'm gonna mention some activities. You should pay attention to them. What do they have in common? Driving, riding a bus, train, doing the housework, cleaning, washing dishes, cooking, etc. Working out, waiting for something. These activities have one thing in common. They don't require concentration or deep thinking. Throughout the day, there are many activities like the examples above. These are the best times to improve your English listening skills. Make sure to listen to some English during these activities. By doing so, it's quite easy to listen to English for one or two hours every day. Subscribe to entertaining channels on YouTube. Watching YouTube is a great way to improve your English listening comprehension. There is a lot of English content on YouTube and the website is designed to be addictive. Start subscribing to channels that interest you. Another great thing about YouTube are subtitles. If you have trouble understanding a video, you can turn on subtitles. Although they are usually generated by computers, they are pretty accurate and useful. 
However, make sure to enable subtitles only when it's necessary. If you can understand 80-90% of the content, you should disable subtitles so that you can focus on listening. If you feel like almost everything you listen to is too difficult to understand, your vocabulary is probably very small. That's why you have trouble understanding most English conversations. In that case, I suggest that other than listening to English, you also read books and other materials in English to quickly learn words and phrases commonly used in conversations. If you are a beginner, try listening to short, small materials first. And if possible, you should also read books in English to learn some new vocabulary. Listen to various topics. Don't keep listening to conversations on the same topics. Make sure to listen to topics that you aren't familiar with as well. Listen to both North American and British English. If you are already good at listening to one of these dialects, practice listening to the other dialect as well. Speaking is the hardest of the four language skills, but as soon as you can speak a little English, there are lots of ways to improve it quickly and enjoy your learning process. Listen a lot in English. Because listening and speaking skills are closely related, you need to listen to English every day to make it a habit. If you understand the person in front of you, it won't be difficult for you to talk to him or her. You can become a member of an English conversation club and take an active part in interesting conversations. Conversations on various topics in conversation clubs can effectively help you improve your speaking skills. First and foremost, you need to apply what you learn. To do this, you need to have friends who can speak English. These people can be your teachers, schoolmates or acquaintances from social networks. Talk to your friends in English. You can even make a group to play games, have a meal or just chat together. Even if you don't have such opportunities, you can talk and record yourself. This may sound a little funny, but it will help you realize how you can improve by repeating the recording several times till you feel pleased with the results. Recording your voice while speaking will be of great benefit to you because when you listen to your voice, you'll know where you made the most mistakes and you'll try not to make those mistakes the next time you speak. While learning various grammar topics, you can practice translating a number of sentences related to those topics from your native language into English. With this method, you can write many sentences in your copybook, practice with them every day and check yourself. As a result, you'll master grammar not only theoretically but also practically. This allows you to build sentences with different grammatical structures fluently in English during the conversation. Read books in English. This may seem strange to you in the first place. After all, when we read a book, we don't speak, we just read. How can this develop our speaking ability? One of the most important things to express yourself fluently in English is to be able to think in English. Reading a book develops your thinking skills and develops your ability to think in English. Read aloud. Reading a book aloud will help you to pronounce the words correctly, to remember them and to express the sentences with correct intonation. Learn the common words in the books you have read and in dictionaries. Having a wide vocabulary will give you a good opportunity to speak comfortably on various topics. Travel to English-speaking countries. In this case, you won't have a chance to speak your native language in an English-speaking environment and 
you'll force yourself to speak English. Many people say that the only effective way to speak and express yourself is to be in an English-speaking environment. That's to be in an English-speaking country. Some people use this as an excuse to stop improving their language skills and take no action. I agree that this is a very effective way, but it's not the only way. There are many people who haven't been to a foreign country, but they can speak English fluently, and you should follow their example. One of the most important things to express yourself fluently in English is to be able to think in English. Reading a book develops your thinking skills and develops your ability to think in English. You can learn new words with the help of a dictionary while reading texts. It will also greatly help you develop your other language skills. People who are good communicators have a vast store of vocabulary from their reading that they can draw on the moment they need it, while others flounder for words. So, read if you want to have a wide vocabulary. Read if you want to be a good communicator. Read if you want to open opportunities in life. There are many advantages associated with reading. First, learning vocabulary in context. You'll usually encounter new words when you read. If there are too many new words for you, then the level is too high and you should read something simpler. But if there are a maximum of five new words per page, you'll learn this vocabulary easily. You may not even need to use a dictionary because you can guess the meaning from the rest of the text from the context. Second, a model for writing. When you read, it gives you a good example for writing. Texts that you read show you structures and expressions that you can use when you write. Third, seeing correctly structured English. When people write, they usually use correct English with a proper grammatical structure. This is not always true when people speak. So, by reading, you see and learn grammatical English naturally. Fourth, working at your own speed. You can read as fast or as slowly as you like. You can read 10 pages in 30 minutes, or take one hour to explore just one page. It doesn't matter. The choice is yours. You cannot easily do this when speaking or listening. Fifth, personal interest. If you choose something to read that you like, it can actually be interesting and enjoyable. For example, if you like to read about biology in your own language, why not read about biology in English? You'll get information about biology and improve your English at the same time. Make a habit of reading regularly. Choose reading materials that relate to what you are interested in. Being interested in the subject will make learning more enjoyable, thus more effective. The internet is the most exciting, unlimited English resource that anyone could imagine, and you can benefit from it very effectively. In general, there are two main reasons for reading. Reading for pleasure and reading for information. Texts for reading should be carefully selected. They should be interesting, relevant to learners' age, entertaining and motivating in the first place, and they should certainly be at the right level of difficulty. The text may be too difficult because it contains complex language or because it's about a topic that learners don't know about. Reading aloud will make it easier for you to realize what you are reading. This method will not only keep you focused on your reading, but also help you improve your pronunciation, rhythm and intonation. But be sure to practice with texts that you understand. Here are 
5 tips for reading. Tip number 1. Try to read at the right level. Read something you can understand to some extent. If you need to stop every three words to look up in a dictionary, it's not interesting for you and you'll soon be discouraged. Tip number two. Make a note of new vocabulary. If there are four or five new words on a page, write them in your vocabulary copybook. But you don't have to write them while you read. Instead, try to guess their meaning as you read. Mark them with a pencil. Then come back when you finished reading to check in a dictionary and add them to your vocabulary copybook. Tip number three. Try to read regularly. For example, read for a short time once a day. 15 minutes every day is better than two hours every Sunday. Fix a time to read and keep to it. For example, you could read for 15 minutes when you go to bed or when you get up or at lunch break. Tip number four. Be organized. Have everything ready. Something to read, a marker or pencil to highlight difficult words, a dictionary, your vocabulary copybook, a pen to write down the new words. Tip number five. Read what interests you. Choose a magazine, newspaper or book about a subject that you like. Along with other language skills in English, the ability to write correctly is also very important. You can improve your writing skills easily and accurately by following these below 10 important steps. First, emphasize reading skills. If you want to improve your writing capability, you should emphasize reading comprehensive articles or texts. You should improve your reading proficiency too. Read newspapers and magazines. Try to understand each article carefully. Focus on the writing pattern of the writer. Improve vocabulary proficiency. Try to generate new ideas. Second, reading books. Do you love reading books? If the answer is negative, then please start reading books immediately. Without reading books, you can't improve writing skills properly. You should read books by different writers that help you to be a good writer too. Third, learn the language properly. When you want to be a writer of the English language, you must have enough knowledge about this language. When you read an article, you may note the unknown words and try to memorize those words. You will be a good writer for sure if you are able to acquire all the skills in English. As long as you aren't fluent enough in English, your English writing will always seem unnatural to native speakers. Fourth, try to use grammar accurately. If you want to improve your writing skills, you should learn grammar more accurately. Without knowing the grammar rules, it may be difficult to improve writing skills. Sometimes a little mistake changes the whole meaning of a sentence. Try to practice basic grammar rules with examples which may help you write every sentence more accurately. While learning various grammar topics, you can practice translating a number of sentences related to those topics from your native language into English. With this method, you can write many sentences in your copybook, practice with them every day, and check yourself. As a result, you will master grammar not only theoretically but also practically. This allows you to build sentences with different grammatical structures fluently in English when you talk to somebody or when you write. Fifth, improve your English writing a little bit each day. You may start writing something. 
It can be any topic or incident. Your main purpose is to improve your writing skills. Write comments in English blogs. You don't need to be an expert to write a few sentences about what you think or feel about the content of the blog. Write your plans, shopping lists in English. Even native English speakers may have difficulty writing in English. Writing is a skill that takes thousands of hours to master in any language. You can start a personal blog and use that for your English writing practice. Sixth, improve speaking skills. Practicing your target language through conversation will help you become a better writer. Many people face the problem when they learn their targeted language only because of the lacking of spoken practice. A fluent speaker always gets a lot of ideas by speaking with different speakers. Seventh, improve your vocabulary. It's very important for a writer to know more and more vocabulary. Many people face the same problem when they write something in English because they don't know enough vocabulary in English. You can use a dictionary. A dictionary may help you to improve your vocabulary faster. Try to memorize at least 5-10 new words a day with their synonyms and antonyms. When you write something, use synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms and antonyms will help you to improve your writing skills easily. 8. Focus on your spelling. Spelling plays a vital role to write anything correctly. It's very important for a writer to spell accurately in a sentence. Wrong spelling can change the meaning of a word. For example, you intend to write night. This word begins with N. But subconsciously you write night beginning with K. The pronunciation of these words is the same, but they are totally different in meaning. Nice. Use the help of translation sites on the internet. You can use Google Translate and other translation sites like this. However, keep in mind that these sites don't always provide accurate translations of sentences. And you have to correct their mistakes. In particular, when translating long sentences, first it will be necessary to divide these sentences into parts, translate these parts, then combine them into the correct grammatical structure. You can only do this if you know grammar well in practice. Tenth, try to use simple sentences. The purpose of your writing is to convey information to your readers, right? But if your readers fail to understand your sentences, will it make any sense? Absolutely not. Your sentences should be simple and easy to understand. You need more patience to improve your writing skills. However, these above 10 easy ways will help you to improve your writing skills in English easily and accurately. Just try to implement those steps in proper ways. I hope this video will be very useful for you. Click the like button, share it if you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification icon. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like this video, you can also watch and enjoy my other videos. I wish you great success in learning English perfectly. Bye.